Therapy at times looks disorganised, but it's very organised and very planned. Um, and it's highly enjoyable, not only for the child, but for the, um, uh, for the therapist as well. You have to really love taking your shoes off and getting down and rolling around and climbing on and squashing kids and flying through the air. Because if you're not prepared to do it, then the child often um, isn't prepared to do it either. Well, my role here at OTFC is I'm clinical director. Um, so I do mostly assessments. I always had a passion for working with children, but it was really hard, I think, to get an opportunity to work with children. It wasn't until we moved to Melbourne that I had an opportunity and I, I, I absolutely loved that work and I took the year off um, playing um, soccer altogether. And to be honest, I never ever really looked back. That was the end of my professional career. I did play um, at the Premier League level here. My predecessor, Veronica Steer, had the practice for 25 years. I was looking at what options were available to work with children because I'd worked part-time whilst I was playing as well. Um, and somebody, um, suggested I speak to Veronica Sear and things went from there. I never, I never left. It was an opportunity to work there and I've been there ever since. I've got a thir nearly 13 year old daughter Isabella and a nine and a half year old son Noah. And so they, they've both grown up, they both had OC sessions, um, they both had their little bits and pieces along the way. They don't always understand what we're doing but they understand why we're doing it so you know, they're a big part of the practice as well. We've had probably three children that I've, in my time, that have had OT at the practice who have gone on to study and become OTs because of the influence. And I, I just think that that's, you know, that's the best thing ever, um, to be able to know that, um, that those children have felt that this has influenced their life so much that they've gone on to achieve um, becoming an occupational therapist, which is, you know, it's, it's probably the, the, I guess, the greatest reflection of being able to give back. Um, and for me, that's really positive seeing that long term.